Hi, this is Tap Cat. Welcome to Let's Play Rise of Venice Part 1. This is a brand new game that just released on Steam today. We are, of course, going to start a new game. <laughs> and uh, before I do that, let me just show you the options. They're all on the vanilla. Uh, so let's go ahead and fire this bad boy up. And I'm going to leave all of this as it is. When I push this button, there's a rather long cutscene that's going to start. You can either watch or I'll have a link that will take you to the beginning of gameplay. It is the year 1455. Venice. They call it the golden city of commerce, of beauty, of culture and carnivals, but also the city of greed and intrigue a cauldron in which only the strongest and brightest can attain true prosperity. These are troubled times. The wars between Venice and the other Italian city-states, especially Genoa, ended just a few short months ago. The victorious Venetians forced a costly peace treaty upon their enemies, but there is no doubt that Genoa will remain an eternal rival in the Mediterranean. The enemy city-state will use every means at their disposal to gain an advantage over Venice. And as if that were not enough, danger also threatens from within the city walls. The intrigues of the nobility and the rich and powerful threaten to destroy the city from within. In the east, the mighty Ottoman Empire stretches its fingers out towards the last vestiges of the Roman Empire. Venice's major trading partner, Constantinople, fears the approach of war. Moreover, the pirates of the Mediterranean have lately grown from a small annoyance into a huge problem. Rumors abound that there could be a connection between the Ottomans and the pirates, but no one knows anything for sure. On this day, however, neither the far-off war nor the intrigues in Venice interest the hero of our story, young Giacomo di Narni sits beside his grandfather's deathbed. Erasmo, the famous mercenary leader whose cunning battle plans earned him the nickname the Leopard, is about to begin his final journey and has therefore sent for his grandson. In a low voice, the old man talks about his life and his dream. As a young soldier, he accompanied merchant ships and visited distant cities. There were silk and spices in abundance and with a little luck and skill at trading, these goods could be sold for a huge profit in Venice. Over the years, Erasmo saw the fame and wealth the merchant profession had to offer. A skillful businessman soon reached a pleasant level of prosperity, followed by wealth and the corresponding reputation. Erasmo remembered towns that were founded by merchants and grew to become magnificent cities. He had always wanted to leave the tough mercenary life behind and become a successful businessman of standing and dignity instead. His last wish, his grandson Yakimo, should abandon his planned mercenary career to follow the path of a trader and so bring his family the social advancement Erasmo had always wanted to give them. Yakimo, who loves his grandfather more than anything in the world, immediately agrees, even if he, at that moment, certainly has no idea of the adventures that await him on his journey. Yet his grandfather urges caution. Some families are corrupt, thinking only of their own advantage. The worst among them are like insidious snakes, whose intrigues spread hatred and fear throughout Venice to help them advance their own goals. In their greed for power and influence, they do not shy from sabotage and even murder. As Erasmo closes his eyes for the last time, Giacomo sadly takes his farewell. Yet his grandfather's last wish has burned itself into his soul. He wants to become a wealthy merchant, like those his grandfather had told him about. Wealth, social advancement, a noble title, a magnificent palace, marriage into a prestigious family, and maybe even a seat on the Council of Ten, ends certainly worth taking a risk for. Your grandfather's last wish was that you become a trader. So to lead our family to prestige and wealth, 
I will support you as best I can. Okay, we're going to skip some of these little uh, help narratives. Let's pick our um, ship and go to Zara, as they suggested we do. And I'm going to go ahead and speed up the time passage here. Whoop. Good. Now you know how to send convoys. Out. All right. So they want me to buy 40 pottery first in Zara's market. And so we're going to do that. So what I've seen is if you buy too much of something, see how the price is 79. But if I keep going, it gets way out of control. Now we'll go ahead and buy 50 because I'm going to kind of go beyond uh, the mandate they've given me. I want our cargo hold to be pretty much as full as I can get it every time we're going out on the water. So now we're going to come back here where there's a wood shortage. Hopefully we're going to make some good money off that trade. All right, we're speeding along. So let's sell our pottery. Awesome. And now how about the wood? We paid 39. And it looks like even if we sell it all, we're going to get the full 66. So I'm happy to do that. Well done. I think you made quite a tidy little profit on that sale. You may have noticed that you cannot trade in all goods. The reason is that your rank is cut. Okay. So again, I'm going to cut that off. Um, let's go ahead and add our convoy or add that ship to our convoy, I suppose I mean. I have to remember how to do that. Um, hmm. I think it's here. Or maybe it's not. <laughs> I logged on for a minute. And, uh, okay, we have to... So oh, that's right, that's right. Um, we go to Harbor Master on this menu. And then we just select that. You can enlarge a convoy as much as you want by adding more ships. But now, I have another mission for you. I have just learned... That food is scarce in Ragnarok. All right. Uh, again, I'm going to go for the short version here. We want to go to Durazzo and Athens. And we're going to buy fruit and grain to take to Ragusa. Yeah, so just to let people know, I certainly make no claims of expertise in this game. I've really never played any of this developer's stuff anymore. I watched a handful of videos uh, on Patrician 4, which is similar in uh, many respects. And then I did log on long enough to just get, you know, kind of a basic feel for the game. Uh, just some of the basic controls and so forth. All right, I'm going to go ahead and buy some of this. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Again, I just want to fill up these cargo holds as much as possible. We need to go to Athens, and Athens is actually over here. That's where we're going to find the grain that we need. Let's speed up. This is a long trip. Yeah, so most of the quests that we're given, or whatever you want to call it, I certainly will not know what's waiting for us where. Uh, this just happens to be a case where I poked around a little bit for this tutorial and, and saw that. Oh, oh, I didn't go into the actual city. Let's fix that. And we have to wait for the bell, like that. Wait, did I? Oh, that's right. So before we're allowed to trade, 
we have to buy a license. And so we're going to pay 1600 gold. Awesome. Thank you guys for taking my gold. It looks like I can only buy... Um, yeah, that's fine. I don't want to push the price up that high because what I'm noticing is there isn't that huge of a spread. Unfortunately, not just for the good. All right, we're going to go ahead and buy. Okay. Still, I guess I can't can be stop happy that. that not everyone on the council thinks that way. Um, I went ahead and bought some wine there. And again, I just am trying to fill up the cargo holds. I mean, we still are half empty. So it's kind of funny they give you that frigate right at the start because it doesn't seem like you really need a frigate. When the tutorial is over, it seems to me like what we'd probably want to do is simply uh, break up the convoy and have these ships on different routes. Although, that said, it may not be safe to do that uh, because of pirates. I don't know. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Grain, we paid 40 we're going to try to sell all of it for 66. It looks like we can. Fruit, we paid 60. Let's see if the price stays at 100. It did. That's awesome. We paid 120 for this wine and we got all of that. Well then. Supplying Raguza has certainly improved your standing with the council. All members. right. So I'm going to cut Good this thing. short as well. They are uh, asking us to advance to the rank of wholesaler. Now, in order to do that, if we check here, you can see I need to get another 2,000 gold. So, again, I'm just gonna look and see what items they seem like they have a bigger supply of. And I'm gonna buy as much as I can, uh, you know, while keeping it at that rock bottom price. Uh, let me just check the wood really quick. Yeah, okay. They're kind of played out as far as the wood goes now. I guess it was Zara before that had wood. So, wow, the city's on fire. That's kind of cool. You can see the little forest fire out there. It's less cool at the actual buildings. Oh, brother, you hear that? You can actually hear this the fire. <laughs> Okay. Give me the ding. Oh, brother, they need grain here, too. Okay. Uh, looks like we can sell this here at a decent profit. And I could buy wood and take it over there. Do I need to for advancement? Oh, look at that. I'm 300 short. Well, I probably would do it anyway because, seriously, why would you want to make less money when you can make more money? All right, that's fine. We won't get greedy. Uh, and I'm not going to buy that other one because I don't want to run the risk. If I can't sell it at a profit over here, I don't want to screw up my uh, ability to get this advancement. Now, this buying and selling uh, that we've been doing, it's kind of the heart of the game as far as I can see. It's going to get a lot more complicated. You can build you know, production facilities uh, to make more complex goods, uh, like I believe these metal goods are probably you know, made and ropes and stuff like that. Uh, but right now, we're just going to be trading in in these items that we can simply buy and sell. And, wow, so they're not really as short on wood anymore. And I, I'm not happy about that. Let me see, I probably won't qualify though, right? Okay, I do. So I'm gonna hold on to the other wood and sell it somewhere where it's in that shorter supply. Now, um, 
trying to remember how to do this. Yeah. So what we want to do, since we meet all the requirements for wholesaler, we're going to go see the Senate and advancement. And yep, requirements are zero across the board. So we're going to try to put this to a vote. Okay, thumbs up. Oh, I see. These are like the individual votes. Is it going to be unanimous? Wow, look at that. That's pretty cool. And they're presenting us with a new ship. Okay, that's pretty sweet. I do think I'm going to try and not uh, add that to this convoy. We'll do it separately. I never thought that you would be so successful so quickly. And now, I have a new task for you. The Morosinis, family friends, need your help with some transport. Okay, so we're supposed to meet this guy at City Hall. Let's go to City Hall. Um, how's this going to work? Mission? It's good to see you, because we have a problem. Okay, when you're ready, I will have several packages delivered to your convoy. You should deliver them to Rome as quickly as possible. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't really know <laughs> what all that means. Uh, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't going to add this one to this existing convoy, but I think for this, just the remainder of this installment, we'll go ahead and do that. Now, one question, where, okay, here's Rome. <laughs> it's kind of a big question. Oh, you know what, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, stop, 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 stop. Since I'm going a long way, I want to go ahead and buy whatever I can and we're gonna only pay kind of the minimum level and I don't know if Rome will take this but you know somebody will and we're just gonna oh man look at this this is really getting ugly over here we're gonna stop at each of these cities really quick and just buy and sell whatever we can along the way so that we keep working our wealth up and not just take a long trip for whatever this mission is. Okay, so this is a good place to sell fruit, but we don't want to drive the price down too much. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I guess I'm not really going to sell that much. I'll just sell 10 of them here. Yeah. And then um, it doesn't look... We're going to go ahead and buy more wood. That's fine. And we'll sell a bunch of this too. I'll take the price down to 91. All right. Onward to the next city. And let's go ahead and pick up the pace a lot. Oh, didn't mean to do that. There's the bell. And let's see. So we can buy Adobe. I don't think I'm going to buy a ton of that. It looks like this is a great place to sell our wood. I think there's going to be a lot of places to sell this, so I'm literally not going to take one less than the full 66. And this is a great place to sell the oil. Is there anything else you want to buy here? Not really. So off we go on to Durazo. Okay, you see they're short on wood as well. That's what I was saying. You don't really, for one like that, there's no point taking less. Why? We can just go like one more notch and, uh, you know, we're good to go. So this would actually, I could buy more fruit 
I'll buy a little bit more. I don't think I, I want to like corner the market. Let's buy 40. Oh, whoops. All right. I meant, um, <laughs> I meant to get up to a total of 100. That's okay. Let's move on. I think I'll skip Athens. We'll just start heading over here. In fact, I'll just go to Rome. Now, I'm guessing I'm going to have to uh, buy a permit for there as well. Very nice. The Modocene has arranged a trading license for Rome. Oh, cool. You can now buy and sell goods at will there. Usually, you have to buy those licenses from the city's market overseas. All right. They want us to acquire licenses now, from any two trading cities. Trading licenses from whichever cities you wish. That's fine. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now. Let's go to the market here and see what we can sell. Looks like we can sell, yeah, I think we can sell all of our fruit. 95 is still a good price. Although, if I keep a little bit of it, I mean, I only have 16 left, so that's not bad. Let's see. That's interesting. By breaking it up, it seems like I got a better price. All right, we'll do that. And this is not a good place to sell that. So we'll go ahead and buy wine, but apparently not a ton of it. You know, that's actually, it's kind of realistic if you think about it, because, um, you know, at least decent wine, it's, it's not like it's produced in massive, massive quantities. Uh, all right, at least compared to something like grain. Now, we need to figure out what are the other two cities that, you know, we would go to. It seems to me if Genoa is our enemy, Naples would kind of be on a trade route. If we were coming down this way and heading to Rome, Naples would be a natural stop. Okay. We do not have a trade license. Oh, that's interesting. Apparently, you can bribe your way through. Now, can I do it on these screens? It doesn't look like it. So, how did I do that before? Yeah, I don't remember. It's in here, I think. <laughs> Or it's in here. Or it's not. All right. I'll tell you what. Um, we actually should wrap up this installment now. So before I start another episode, I will refresh my memory on how to buy a license. And uh, we'll do that at the beginning of our next part. So in the meantime, thank you for watching. I hope we see you next time.